All right, so you've started watching Selling Sunset and you've decided you want to become a real estate agent. Well, let me tell you something. I'm gonna give you three reasons why I love being a real estate agent and three reasons why I hate being a real estate agent. And we're gonna go over some statistics and some of my personal experience and my point of view in this topic. So please take everything with a grain of salt. And all my fellow realtors that are watching, please comment if you agree on anything what I'm saying or anything that you wanna add, please let me know. Number one. I love being a real estate agent because of how many people I get to work with. I mean, from professionals to clients, people that I've become friends over the, the years in this industry. And it's one of the things that I love the most about being a real estate agent. Number two, I guess because it gives me a sense of purpose. I feel like I'm helping someone buy their first home or maybe it's because they're buying their first investment property and I'm, I'm playing a major role in their journey to building wealth. So that gives me a sense of purpose. And number three, because there's no limits on how much you can make as a real estate agent. You can go as big as you want or as small as you want. You know, people work part-time, work full-time, build teams. So because of that, I also love being a real estate agent. That said, now let's go over some of the negative things about being a real estate agent. So number one, people. You've heard it from everyone. One of the greatest things about the job is being able to work with people, but one of the worst things about the job is working with people. Any industry that you deal with, interaction with people, there's always gonna be that factor that find good and, and bad customers. Um, it's just the way it is. One time I had to tell the this client of mine that she was getting very anxious when I didn't pick up the phone. She will call me like four times in a row and I would have to be like, hey, you know, I'll get back to you as soon as I came. I'm, I'm with another client. I'm showing a house. I was showing a house for this person and I told her, how you feel if right now in the middle of our showing, right, I'm showing you this property, if I got a call from someone else that I know it can wait because it's not an emergency and I just picked up the phone and started talking to them while it's our time. Finally, she came to realize that, yes, you're right, you know, I will try to be more patient. So it takes a lot of patience when every time you're working with the clients because sometimes clients can be difficult, especially if they're first time home buyers because they don't know the process or they simply don't know, right? So they're expecting you to guide them grab them by the hand and walk them through the entire process so that they feel comfortable. Because it's a tough decision, right? When you're buying a house, that is the biggest investment that most people are gonna make in their entire life. But again, it's, it, could, it could be one of the negative things about the job that you have to deal with difficult people sometimes. Number two, it's tough industry, guys. It's it's tough, you know, selling Sunset and all these shows and they see all the posts from other real estate agents on social media and they think that, hey, you know, it's the luxury life and the travel and, and nice cars and it's tough, guys. I'm just gonna give you some statistics. I'm gonna focus on Syracuse, okay? There are over 3 million licensed real estate agents in the United States, but in Syracuse, we have 2,773 as of today. So that number might continue to go up. I think last time I checked, it was maybe a couple months ago, we were at 2,500. Now we can see that more people are joining the industry. And just to put this into perspective, 50%, okay? 50% of all agents in Syracuse did not reach $1 million in sales. What does that mean, Abel? Okay. It means that more than half of the of the licensed real estate agents in Syracuse, because actually I did the math, it was like a 50.7, you know, almost 51% of the agents didn't reach that $1 million in sales. And what does that mean? Well, if you take the average commission for real estate agents is about 3%. You should say that you sold $1 million in sales and at an average of 3%, 3% commission, that'll be $30,000 out of a $1 million in sales. Okay, but you don't get to keep the $30,000 in real estate commission because guess what? You're a new agent. You don't have a broker license, right? So your broker takes, in the best case for you, let's just say 55% because you're a new agent. You can't expect to be making a, a crazy split, but this is going to vary from broker to broker. But let's just say that you keep 55% of that 30,000 commissions paid uh, out of the $1 million in sales. Well, that only leaves you with about $16,000. That's not a lot of money, guys. $16,000 for a whole year of showing properties, of driving a lot, and fees you gotta pay, because you have to pay fees when you're a licensed real estate agent. You know, whether that's MLS fees, continue education courses that you have to take to keep your license up to date. So there are expenses that come with a job, and people have to realize that it's a tough job because if 50% of all the agents are not even reaching that $1 million in sales in a year, what does that tell you? 
Last year, I was in the top 50% that made over $1 million in sales. But my first year, I only did about $500,000 in sales. There's no limit on how much money you can make, but it can be tough in the beginning. And if you're coming in with the wrong mindset, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to become a real estate agent. I'm going to start making a lot of money right away. Well, yeah, that's not going to happen. It's, it's going to take time to build that, you know, sphere of influence and knowledge on the job so that you can get to that level. Number three, instant gratification. What does that mean? It means you don't get paid until the job is done. If you're used to that nine to five job and that weekly paycheck, it's gonna be a tough transition into real estate because many of us, we adjust our lifestyle based on our income and oftentimes we take credit card debt and we take personal loans on things we don't need. We're making the payments, we might be able to afford it, right? Just because you can make the payments, doesn't mean that you can afford it. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. If you're used to your nine to five and getting that weekly paycheck, it's going to be difficult transitioning to real estate because even if you sell a house on your first day, you're not gonna get paid until that deal closes. And it could be 30 days, 45 days, two months. You wanna hear my worst? Six months. Six months for my property to close on one of my deals. And it's also gross, right? It doesn't account for, for taxes, so you have to do that on the end. But it's one of the three negative things about being a real estate agent. And I talked about the three positive things. At the end of the day, it comes back to, you don't try real estate. Real estate tries you. Real estate has been around forever. And it's one of the quickest way to actually gain wealth and to transfer wealth from one generation to another generation. So it's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of patience. And uh, I just wanted to make this video to give you my personal experience I want to make it as short as possible and talk about the three positive things and the three negative things that I see in my own experience if you're a fellow realtor please let me know in the comments what you think about this or if you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent and you have questions that you would like to get some answers to I would love to help you it's an industry that it's fun every deal is different nothing is the same from one day to another even if you're doing a whole bunch of showings it keeps it interesting because every house is different every client is different every transaction is different and you meet so many people guys that it's it's amazing I'm, i went from a sphere of influence about this much to about this much in very little time and i've made great friends and people that now i'm in touch on a daily basis so if you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent let me know in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts if you are a real estate agent what are three things that you love about your job and three things that you don't like about being a real estate agent Ableman here and see you guys in the next episode goodbye